The American and British embassies stayed closed for a second day as other Western facilities tightened security or limited public access. The diplomatic shutdown came amid signs that al-Qaeda was planning an attack on the capital. Instead, the Yemeni government took the fight to al-Qaeda, targeting a senior leader in a battle outside Sana and killing two of his militant followers. Al-Qaeda is in the crosshairs here, partly because of its role in arming and training the Nigerian student behind the Christmas bomb plot. His school director says he never saw any warning signs. He was so polite, so he seemed very happy, smiling, mm -hmm. friendly, quiet. Officials complain that identifying would-be terrorists among students is nearly impossible here because the government can't compete with Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda people, they have means of technology, means of uh, money sources, um, they have experience to organize themselves well. And he says without aid and assistance from the rest of the world, others will follow in the footsteps of Abdul Muttalib. Heather Murdoch for CBS News, Sena, Yemen. The U.S. has long supported Yemen's government and its fight against al-Qaeda. Last year alone, Washington sent Yemen more than $40 million in economic aid and $67 million to pay for counterterrorism efforts. That is expected to increase dramatically this year to help Yemen through its current crisis. Yemen's in a dangerous part of the world, south of Saudi Arabia, and separated from Somalia by the Gulf of Aden. In 2000, suicide bombers attacked the USS Cole as it refueled in Yemen. 17 American sailors were killed. Yemen's already weak government is under assault from rebels in the north and south. Al-Qaeda, taking advantage of the instability, is now flourishing there, setting up camps and bases for plotting attacks overseas including in the United States. The instability in Yemen is a threat to regional stability and even global stability. And Yemen's crushing poverty. Nearly half of its 22 million people live off less than $2 a day, makes it fertile ground for recruiting terrorists.